Hello student, myself uh, Archana Nishan Gandharkar, the assistant professor, department of microbiology, CK Thakur College. Today we are going to be started on the interesting topic that is the intellectual property right. So here the learning outcomes behind the intellectual property rights are they introduce the concept of the intellectual property, importance of the intellectual property, different types of the intellectual properties. So what is the property that we know that the properties are the designated those things that are the commonly recognized as being the possession of the individual or the group. So there are the two types of the properties one is the tangible property and second is the intangible property. So tangible property means what it is a physical present example building land house that we can show to others that is physically present and in case of the intangible which cannot be felt as a physically but it is present so that type of the properties are called as the intangible property. So, example of the intangible properties are the intellectual properties. Now, what are the role of the intellectual properties as the intangible properties? So, you will get a number of benefits from the intellectual property. The first is the economic rights of the creator, the commercial exploitation of the owners of the intellectual property, the capital expenditure, transfer of the technology, cultural development. Now, why are the protection is given? The first is you can be increase the capital expenditure by for the new product. Now, second, it is important in case of the R&D. And third is the marketing and advertisement. Also, no free loaders are there. And the monitoring the loyal, uh, loyal followers are there. And you will get the profit from the intellectual property rights. Now there are the two types of the intellectual property. One is the industrial property and second is the copyright related right. Now in case of the industrial property, the industrial properties are classified into the industrial design, patent, trademark, trade secret and the circuit mark. And in case of the copyright and related rights, it will be classified or it is for the type, the geographical indication, layout design of the semiconductors of IC, plant varieties and the farmer rights. Now there are the types of the intellectual property, so majorly there are the four types of the intellectual property. First is the trademark, copyright, patent and a trade secret. Now trademarks, you can see the one symbol which is uh, uh, in the right, right part of my uh, screen that is I am logging it. It is a symbol of the Magda. So trademark is what? It is a word or name or the brand symbol, label etc. that is used by the company to create the unique identity of their product. So trademark can be registered and can be used in case of the trademark which is under registration. The uh, registration validity of this trademark is a 7 years and you can be renew afterwards after the expiry. The trademark owner can be individual or maybe the business organization or any, any illegal entity. Now trademark may be located on a packages or labels on a voucher on our product itself. For the sake of the corporate, identify the trademark are also be. So trademark is what it is a particular symbol or particular name which is given to the brand. So we have seen the so many brands are available in the market and we are recognizing that brand in a form of what the trademark only. So like as a Puma, Nike, might be KFC, you can heard this thing. Now second type is the copyright. Now copyright is what it is the, again the type of the intellectual property which is giving the information about the architectural work, musical, artistic work, the audio visual work including the literacy etc. So copyright is the protection is available to the both published as well as the unpublished works. Now why what can you do with the copyrights? You can reproduce the material, you can go with the derivatives work, you can distribute the copies of that. You can be perform it publicly or you can be display the publicly. Only protected expression, not ideas are underlying the work. Now, the copyright age, the time is given, that is author plus the 70 years. Now, for example, suppose that author will be live for a 60 to 70 years. After that 70 years, again 70 years, they are going to be counted. Or in case of this, work made for the higher, that is 95 years from the publication or the 120 years from the creation, whichever the expires first, that is applicable for the copyright. So by using the copyrights, you can be uh, preserve your artistic material. Now third is the patent. Now patent is what? It is the particular rights which is granted for the invention, which may be product, which may be process, that provides a new way to the doing something or offer to the new technical solution to the problem. Now, I think you heard about the patent that some components are going to be patented, some things are going to be patented. So, what 
the exact meaning of the patent and that you can be basically uh, preserve your right towards that product so towards that process now the protection granted by the patent so monopoly on the invention typically for a period of the 20 year and no protection on a description now next is the trade secret now trade secret is what it is the consist of uh, the trade secret is the consist of any valuable business information the business secret are not to be known by the comp uh, competitor there is a no limit to the type of the information that can be protected as a trade secret example are the recipes are there marketing plans are there financial projections are there these are the type of the trade secret i think you heard about the, the trade secret which is the related to the coca cola trade secret is related to the pepsi both are the carbonated components but the taste of the components are the different and that taste is actually keeping as a secret by using the trade secret now these are the one comparative chart between the copyright patent and a trademark so protection in case of the copyright the expression of the idea the mon in case of the patent the monopoly of the invention and in case of the trademark you are going to be using the symbol now in case of the copyright term we are going to be using the, the life of that author plus the 50 years of that author in case of the patent the 20 years after 20 years you have to renew your license and a trademark it is unlimited life now in case of the registration you have to be uh, there is no any registrations are required in case of the copyright then in case of the patent you have to require the including some review processes and in case of the trademark, the required, the optional in a common law of the justification. Symbol under fee is used that is required for the protection. In case of the patent, we don't require any kind of the symbol. In case of the trade, uh, trademark, the R which is under the circle, it is called as a registered trademark. Or TM is there, that is called as the trademark which is under registration. That type of the trademark you have to use. And the use of the symbol not strictly required for the protection. And the cost for the copywriting is a need. In case of the patent, it is a somewhat expensive and in case of the trademark, it is a moderately expensive. So this is about what the intellectual property right. Thank you.